Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 20th through November 26th. This is for the sign of Aries. Now, this isn't a private reading, okay, so it may not resonate with you. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so if a card falls out, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. This may not resonate. It may fully resonate, but then again, it may not. I will zoom this in once the cards are laid out. all right so the basis of your reading is the hermit reversed so i'm thinking you guys are probably coming out of your shell you're not feeling alone you're feeling more open you're being more uh social if you, or you're in being feeling like you want to be more social this week it feels like um, you're just letting go. You're not holding on to something anymore. You're letting go. Um, you're taking a very practical approach. Uh, communication. You're communicating. You could be compromising with somebody. You're really mastering your emotions. You're headed in the right direction. Any depressive uh, state of mind that you have been in is probably going right away because you're mastering your emotions. I feel like um, if you've been feeling ill or feeling sick, you're probably feeling a lot better this week. I feel like um, there's stability, there's security. Perhaps you're feeling new. You know, I see some newness here, like renewed. Um, you know, with that being said, uh, there there is still some need to... Um, give a little, okay? I think you need to give a little. And I'm not sure what this is. I see that you've let go, but I, right here we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. Upright, it's about give and take. So somebody isn't giving enough, whether it's you or the other person. So maybe you're not receiving enough. It could go either way with this card. So I'm not sure what this means, how it pertains to you, but something else needs to be given. And maybe it's just time. Maybe it's just time that you need to give. Um, it feels like many of you have let go of the need to control. That's what it is. You've let go of the need to control and you're letting... You know, you're letting whatever happens, happens. We have the magician reversed. This is about manifestation, but it is reversed. So I think that for many of you, you've decided to just go with the flow. You're not trying to change things at this point. You know what I mean? You're really happy where you're at right now. For this week, you're happy where you're at and you're coming out of your shell. You're no longer in hiding. You're no longer feeling alone. It's like you're feeling pretty social this week. It looks like it's a happy week, you know, where things are, are happening, you know, and it's just very, um, you're heading in the right direction, okay? It looks like a successful week for you. There's not a lot of depression here, okay? Perhaps you're even... Um, Acting on some desires, okay? We have the Devil card here next to the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like there's some, you know, on one side there's an angel and on the other side there's a devil, okay? So I think this week is more of a devilish week. That's what I'm trying to say. Whereas in the past, I think you've really been not as much social, maybe last week or the week before. You know, maybe you needed some time to heal. You needed to go within. You needed to refocus. 
This week, it's more social. You could go out. You could have some fun. You could let your guard down. The devil could be whispering in your ear, go do it. Go do it. Go do it. Okay? You could be hearing those little whispers in your ear that say, do it. Do it. Do it. And you may just do it. Okay? Either way, I think that um, maybe you need to. Maybe you need to have a little bit of fun. Maybe you've worked too hard. Maybe why this card is here is because maybe you need to give give to yourself. Maybe that's what the Six of Pentacles, that's why it's reversed, because you need to give to yourself. Maybe you need to give yourself a break. Maybe you need to give yourself a pat on your back. You know? You've, you've worked hard. Maybe it's time to just... Be free from all the responsibilities for a little while. And I think this week is. I think it's a week of freedom. You know, where you're just, you're just releasing the depression. You're releasing the burdens, you know. It's not like you're getting rid of them, but you're kind of like ignoring them. You're, you're heading, you're, you're letting the, the fun side of you come out this week. It's a week to have some fun, Aries. That's what I see. Okay. It looks like uh, you're just not worrying. This isn't a worry-filled week. It's a week of letting letting it go. A week of just you know, I'm gonna I'm just gonna be happy. This is going to be a happy week, you know. There's, there could be get-togethers, you know. There, could, Like, I see some togetherness, all right. There could be some get-togethers. There could be some fun. You could be just letting it all hang out, you know what I mean. Just, you know, having fun. I think it's a fun week. Yeah, you're letting go of the need to focus on work 100% of the time. It's time to just be free for a little while, okay? Time to be free. This is a week about your freedom and honoring your desires. Every once in a while, you have to let your hair down. And I think this week, you may be doing that. Because you can't let all of your responsibilities and all of the burdens and all of that other stuff take over. Okay, you can't. You have to be careful because what you own owns you. If you concentrate your whole life on your bills and your job and your family and everything but you, you know, that can make you sick. It can. There comes a time when you need to have some fun. So perhaps this week is a week of fun. There could even be some overindulging. There could be, you know, it's a, it's a week of togetherness, of, of just having fun. Letting go of any depressive state. Maybe taking a minute to just escape from the woes of the world. To do it. It's not about this week. I don't feel like it's about how much you can gain. It's about you nourishing your soul this week. It looks wonderful. I, I love it. This is for Aries. About just not putting the, the responsibilities, the work responsibilities, all the other responsibilities at the forefront. It's about letting go and having some fun. Not really putting all the effort into your work. It's about taking like a mini vacation, you know, and having some fun and not thinking about it for a little while and just escaping from reality for a minute
This is for Aries. I feel like um, you're not trying. You're not. This isn't a week about increasing your finances or increasing your wealth or increasing your career. This is a week about letting your hair down. Having fun. I've already said it. Having fun. It is. This is a this week isn't concentrating on your bank account. Okay? It's not. This is a week of concentrating on friends and family and letting go of the need to be so much in control, you know? Just laughing. Interesting, huh? There could be some partying going on for some of you, you know, where, you know, you just, you let it all go. It's like, you know what? I'm going to overindulge. It's time. I need this. I, every once in a while, you do. Social. Looks like a social week. Engagement. This isn't an actual engagement, by the way. I mean, it can be, probably for one person, okay? But it's really about your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. What's happening here is that your love for life this week is ascending because you're starting this week, and it's, it's really about you loving yourself, taking the time to not focus on your job, to not focus on depression, to not focus on your finances, to focus on love for yourself and to really nourish your soul. Do what you need to do to have fun, to let your hair down, to laugh. Interesting. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation in all that you do. Focus on service to yourself. You're, you need to put yourself into the service bay, <laughs> okay? Put yourself, go get yourself some service, all right? It's time. When's the last time you, uh, you know, went to the shop? <laughs> it's time to focus on you this week, okay? Go have some fun. November 20th through November 26th. This is for the sign of Aries. Happy Thanksgiving. Talk to you later.